I'm outside of my workshop today at Timbercon's workshop so that I can talk about hollow chisel mortises for the drill press. First up, what are hollow chisel mortises? Well, there are two part system. One is a chisel that is hollow and the other is an auger bit. The auger bit removes the majority of the waste while the chisel gives you a square hole. So that's how you can effectively drill a square hole. Hollow chisel mortises are traditionally associated with the big standalone machine that does that task only. They have a few advantages and quite a few disadvantages. The main disadvantage is the price. An entry level bench top mortiser will set you back about $400 in Australia, but the higher end floor standing ones go $2,000 and above. The thing is they use a Jacobs chuck, they use a lot of similar type parts to a drill press, whereas most people have a drill press. So that's where these sort of adapters can work out well. So the drill press mortiser kit attaches to the quill of the drill press. It has a fence to secure your stock and comes with a bunch of hollow chisel mortises. This particular kit comes with a quarter inch, which is loaded in, three eighths inch, which is in the box, half inch and five eighths inch. So that's uh, 6.3 mil, 9.5 mil, 12.7 and about 16 millimeters. If you do end up getting something like this drill press hollow chisel mortiser, I'd recommend making some sort of uh, sub fence or sub base for the whole lot so you can more easily get it on and off your drill press. Also note this type of mortiser doesn't typically work with a keyless chuck because they're a little bit too long for the jig and you just don't get enough room to attach everything. You also won't find this working with the adorable Bosch drill press that I have. So there you go, that's how you can drill a square hole with a round drill bit. Now this is not the prettiest mortise and it's not uh, the best alignment. You can see here that it's got quite a staircase hanging effect. That is one of the uh, setup problems that you might be faced with any sort of mortise, whether it's a drill press one or a dedicated one. This isn't my machine, so I'm not gonna spend hours dialing it in just perfectly. But as I said, if you attach the whole thing to a sub table, that would allow a lot more freedom in those sort of adjustments. If this is something you do a lot of, an XY vise is an excellent addition that will typically come built into a dedicated mortiser, but does not come with this $100 kit. What you do get though is the set of four chisels and auger bits that match, so you can have a wide variety of mortises. Unlike just using a Forstner bit on a drill press to create a mortise, you can much more easily step over your mortise to create a wider mortise, whereas a Forstner bit will tend to grab unless you're doing that exact width. I'm back home now and for context, this is now being recorded during plague times. There are a few downsides of the hollow chisel mortise for drill presses to be aware of. I'm going to ignore the setup process as that's something you often have to dial in with any new machine. And as I said, I was just borrowing it. First off, the major difference between a drill press and a hollow chisel mortiser is the arm that moves the quill. With a standalone mortiser, you have much more of a mechanical advantage, so it's easier to plough through the material. Without that on the drill press jig, you're going to struggle with denser hardwoods with large chisels. Yes, the auger removes the majority of the material, but you still have to contend with pushing a chisel using a hand wheel. No percussive assistance. Secondly, if you're going to be using this jig frequently, you really want to get yourself a cross slide vise or something similar. Without it, fine adjustments are going to be difficult and moving the workpiece over to widen the mortise is going to be a slow process of unclamping and reclamping. 
it is another expense to factor in. Perhaps a benchtop unit will work out better for you. But again, if it's an occasional use item, perhaps it's not a big deal. Are they a tool for everybody? Uh, I'm not sure. I would rather have a router to cut mortises quicker, but routers are more mentally taxing to use, so a mortiser might work better when you get to a certain production threshold. Either way, now you know how to drill a square hole. Thanks for watching and thanks to Timbercon for letting me use their workshop.